Back speaking with Michael Thurn this morning from New Horizon Therapeutics. Michael, morning. Morning, Andrew. Look, uh, name change effective as of this week, Michael, from Pharmos. Uh, tell us a bit more about the the rebrand and what it's a reflection of. Yeah, the, the rebrand really allows us to focus on essentially what we do best. And, and what we do best is, is uh, develop drugs for complex neurodegenerative diseases. So the name Neurizin uh, aligns with our focus on promising a, you know, a new horizon for patients with complex neurogenitive diseases. Well, tell us a bit more, Michael, about your, your lead product and the upcoming trial. Yeah, so uh, our lead product, our lead drug, uh, NUZ001, uh, has been accepted into the prestigious Healy platform trial. And, and that trial is a, is a way of progressing drugs quickly uh, promising drugs quickly through the regulatory process in order to, to make the drug available as, as quick as possible. And, and the reason why we want to do that, particularly with uh, motor neurone disease and, and ALS, is because there's, there's so few treatments uh, available for ALS that are, that are effective. Uh, so building back to Neurizen Therapeutics and, and the brand, we've built uh, three core strategic pillars all around uh, motor neurone disease and uh, using the drug in other uh, or broader applications in, in other neurogenitive diseases. So the three pillars are advancing patient access to, to ALS, ALS treatments. And we're doing that by allowing the drug to be made available through the special access scheme. So the special access scheme is a is a program that's run by the TGA here in Australia, where people that are um, you know have a life threatening condition that have few uh, options available to them in terms of treatment, you can get access to experimental treatments through this special access scheme. Based on our phase one study that showed you know very good results, particularly around safety, long term safety, but also it showed that uh, the drug. Uh, NUZ001 was showing a, a benefit in slowing the disease progression in these patients. We feel it's, uh, it's, it's in our best interest for the patients to make that drug available to them. And, and through that special access scheme here in Australia, we can do that. So that's the first pillar. Our second pillar is, is all about accelerating hope. And we're doing that by uh, partnering with the Healy ALS platform trial, the MAP the, uh, the team at Mass General. And this represents the quickest way to uh, commercializing the product and making it available to as many people as possible. And then our, our third pillar is around unlocking this, this broader potential for uh, NUZ001 to be applicable in other neurogenitive diseases. And those other neurogenitive diseases are, the, are diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's disease, and Parkinson's disease. And why are we doing that? We're doing that because the pathology behind those neurogenitive diseases are very similar. And we have the potential to use the drug uh, in those diseases because the pathology, the mechanism of action of the drug uh, is able to, to treat those different diseases. Have we got a start date? for the trial? Start day for the trial, where uh, we've announced recently that we're uh, looking to, to begin recruitment in Q1 of next year. So uh, the last couple of months of this year, we'll be tightening up the budget, uh, submitting the various regulatory applications that, that are required in the US, uh, under, you know, opening an IND, our, our partner at uh, the Healy platform team have to submit their IND as well to cover our specific protocol regimen in that platform trial. And you've applied for orphan medicinal product designation here, have you? So uh, we've applied for a couple and succeeded in one so far. So uh, we applied for the orphan drug designation in, in the US with the FDA that was awarded earlier on this year. And more recently, we applied for the European equivalent, which is the Orphan Medicinal uh, Product designation. And we expect to hear back 
in December, whether that's been accepted. I suppose just looking at this this upcoming trial, what would a successful outcome mean for Neurizon Therapeutics? A successful outcome would be, again, back to, to our pillars, back to uh, the branding around Neurizon in being patient focus, focused on delivering a effective treatment to these patients that really have very little as quick as possible. So a, uh, a an outcome from the Healy platform trial would be a successful uh, interim data readout at, at week 24 that shows a benefit of the drug slowing disease progression in, in motor neurone disease or ALS. We'll be able to use that information, those trial results go to the regulators and seek accelerated approval. And that could happen within a, an 18 month time frame from now. Tell us a bit more about the, the size of the market opportunity. So there's roughly every, well, every year, there's about 5,000 new patients uh, diagnosed with ALS in, in the US. And, and roughly at the moment, there's around 40,000 uh, patients in the US with, uh, with ALS. So uh, that's the US market. If you look at, at uh, the European market, it's, it's roughly double that. So there's a considerable market, uh, addressable market available for this drug, given that there's really only two drugs out there that treat uh, all people with, uh, with motor neurone disease. And, and those drugs are very ineffective. So there's a, 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 a relatively low bar to, uh, to get over in order to, uh, to provide an effective treatment. And how much might this drug be available for on the market, potentially? Great question. And uh, at the end of the day, we're developing a drug for a rare disease. Uh, rare disease drugs typically are expensive drugs. The average list price in the US for a drug that treats a rare disease like ALS is over 100,000 US. We've had recent experience with uh, with two drugs that have been uh, approved uh, in the US that have a list price of over 150,000 US. So uh, you obviously have to put put together a a um, uh, a socioeconomic analysis around the cost that you propose to uh, the list price for this particular mm. drug, and um, you know we're we're thinking that it's likely to to be over a hundred thousand, but possibly you know in alignment with uh, those other two recent approvals, so well over one hundred and fifty thousand US. I suppose, Michael. Just finally, you mentioned earlier looking to kick off recruitment Q one next year. Uh, in the meantime, what milestones, what news can we expect to hear from you? So over the next next two months, as we close out this year, uh, it, it's going to be a, you know an exciting time for the company, exciting from the point of view that uh, we're getting ready to start recruitment in the, the Healy platform trial. And that will result in, in triggering a number of milestones. And, and those milestones are uh, opening the IND with with the FDA, so a regulatory milestone. In addition to that, the orphan medicinal product designation from Europe uh, that will occur over the next next couple of months. And and the other aspect, uh, we will see some results come in from other neurodegenerative diseases that we've been uh, testing preclinically. So we've been looking at a NUS001. Uh, at its effectiveness in a in a number of preclinical models for other neurodegenerative diseases, so that so some data will be available before the end of the year. Yeah, great to see you, Michael. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.